All right, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is test one with the double fluker. So far, it's working pretty well. If you can see here, you can hear that sucker roar, and it's getting there. So I'm happy. This second pipe is not stopping airflow. There's a little crack here. So this is my test to make sure the second Fluka, I'm going to call this the Fluka stove or the Rocket Fluka. There you go, the Rocket Fluker. So this is my test of the Rocket Fluker because this is a Fluker. Some people call it a Fluker. So this is my Rocket Fluker. Let's see if we can look overhead while burning ourselves. Hear that roar? All right, let's go up a little higher. All right, so the second test is to make sure the bottom part works. It's uh, two air vents that is linked to that one. And later on, I'll add the fuel to it, but I got to make sure the second fluker works and it's working pretty well. And sucking air or blowing air or sucking through. So we got flames. I thought Batman's car was here. I'm using crystal oil. You can buy that at the dollar store real cheap. Now I'm going to make a run. Now the parts I'm looking for is a tank. A metal tank that goes and I'll hook it to this. And I'll turn it on and it will give it fuel. So the fuel should last two to three hours. Depends on how big the fuel container is. Now if I want I could take that bucket there and put a nozzle on it. And hook that bucket to this line. And the line will keep fuel, feeling, feel, feeding this stove, the, the rocket, the Fluker rocket stove. Listen to it. This should give me about 20 minute burn. It should be a 20 minute burn. I just started a few minutes ago. It's running down. But it wasn't a lot of oil I put in there to give it. Smells good, doesn't it? That's Sally. You think it smells good, huh? So the second fluker is not interfering with the airflow. I'm still got airflow. You saw. The flames up here is nice and warm. It <sighs> shows you how cold it is out here. I'm out here in the cold. All right, it's dying down for the little oil I put in there, but it's doing good. It's making all kinds of noises because it gets hot, and I thought the second the second fluker had. Uh, what you call lead in it because it melted the lead but it's not lead it was aluminum hey let me show you how hot it got when I did that first test I didn't show you all the, the, the stuff that happens but it melted the pipe inside the other pipe and this is aluminum pipe and this is what it did to it that's how hot it got this is just a flimsy piece of wait a minute is this aluminum or lead it feels like lead but it's really thin ass whatever how oh see here's another piece now if it's lead it should write it's not writing so it's aluminum so it melted the, the aluminum pipe that was inside the other pipe that's how hot it got now i want to let you know do not when you're drilling your holes when you're drilling your holes if you do this with me do not drill your holes at the bottom what happened when I poured my oil in the top pan, it drained to the bottom. And I could have saved that oil for the next round, whatever it spilt over. And the holes leaked oil on the ground, and I wasted a couple ounces of oil. That's a dollar, still a dollar for some people, is a lot of money. 
So if you drill your holes, go up. I made a new one. And I made a hole here, middle, top, around right there, the third loop. Now that thing should be over with. The flames and all the, the fire should be gone with a little bit of oil I put. Nope, it's still kicking. I'm scared to touch that because that's probably hot as hell. Yeah, I felt it through my gloves. And these are not heat proof, so it still protects my hand for a few seconds before it goes through the glove and I can hurry up and take the glove off. But you can hear it. Let's hear that. Now, another reason I did a test, I did te two tests. One, to check to make sure the second fluke didn't f mess with the airflow, which it did not. You saw the flames were on top of this thing. So now I'm going to put my pipe in this thing and put a hole here and a hole here for my water. And that'd be my hot water heater. I'm sorry, water heater. I keep saying hot water heater. Don't make hot water hotter. It can, but the water heater. And I was testing to make sure this is not too big. Because if I, I thought the pan has to be right on top of that hole. See, I gotta take this. This is what you're looking for. Any type of metal with holes in it. You can place that on top. And put your fluka on top of that, which would be this pipe here. I don't know if that's too much airflow. Well, all those big holes. I don't know if that's too big of holes. Maybe I could, you know, but this is what you're looking for. Now, if you can find a plate with just a hole on top with no holes on the side, you want to put the holes inside on side the can and this is my first build it worked perfectly for what i had i'm gonna bring this in the woods that's gonna be at my camp and uh if that thing got hot god all right so there you go it's uh finishing off what sally what you will be on youtube too huh you will be on youtube yeah, you do. What you looking at my hand for? I got no food for you. Oh, you are you are you hungry? Are are you hungry? Hey, um, hello. Are you hungry? Does my glove taste good? Oh, look how cute Sally is. She's so cute. <laughs> okay, back to the subject. I'm sorry. That's how cute my little Sally Durg is. Look how cute she is. What? You want to be on YouTube? You can't be on YouTube. You're a Durg. You can talk. Can you talk? Oh, yes I can. Oh, you can talk. Alright, back to the subject. Alright, let's take the fluker off. I'm scared to take the fluker off. Maybe a pair of pliers. It just sets on top. Everything's on setting on top of one another. Now, the oven part is going to be the tricky part. I guess what I can do is find another lid and cut a hole in it. Like the, maybe the, uh, ah, maybe that. So, I want to cut maybe a hole here. This goes and put that on top of this. I'm not going to make this my oven. I was just doing a test before I go out and buy a million dollar stuff that doesn't work. So I do tests before I buy million dollar stuff. Because I could have been so... I could have had this done already. But I don't want to spend money on something that might fail. So most of this... This is junk. Most, of, Yeah, all of this is like trash that I found. So... Look for some trash. You might be surprised what you can find in 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 in, in joke yards. All right, that thing's too hot. I'm not gonna fool with it. I'm gonna let it cool down. Now I have to add my fuel to this thing, and I, that thing should last for two hours. Then the oven part, I'll just put like I said, put this down, and 
add an extra plate or a wire screen here so it's off and this should get nice and hot it's a box all right i'm ready to cook it i hope you enjoyed this uh, short video of the fluka rocket stove the update to make sure it all works i'm testing the bottom part i'm testing the top part so everything looks like it's a-ok -okay. or a-ok -okay. Okay, all right, I'll write your cookie. See y'all next, 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 next video. For those who want to get into this project, these are the items you might want to go get. First, you want to get a um, tin can. You can buy the cookies, the tin cookie cans. That's what this is. Tin cookie can. <clears throat> just to make that little stove hot, you just pour a little bit of oil in this pan. What I did is drew a hole. Well, I cut it, the tin out with a razor knife. And I drew holes on top. See the holes? And I drew holes all through the can. <clears throat> <clears throat> Now there's different ways you can make this uh, <coughs> fluka rocket stove. That's why I call it by drilling holes here. If you got a flat plate, um, only thing you gotta make is make sure you got a hole on top and holes on the side. If you got a flat plate, make sure you got a hole for your fluka that goes on top. So if you this was a flat plate, I'll drill a hole here, just big enough for this can. Place my metal plate on that now that can be set on another can or a bucket you know something like this as long as it gets airflow at the bottom see that's why those holes are there that's why i put a bigger can so you also need uh a let me go get the original can I'm sure you basic that'd be a cut no oh, what the hell you walk around you see all my stuff okay where's the original can Okay, we just grab a can. You can have a can with both. It could be like this. And you drew your hole. Oh, there's my original can. That's all I did is took and drew holes around this one can. So you need two cans, one bigger than the other. And what I did, I took... My tin can, cut the whole size of like dog can food or whatever can you got, and I drill holes. Now, remember, do not drill your hole too close to the bottom. Go a little higher. In case any of that oil, because I forgot to seal this, because this was all a practice, a test, and I'm not going to spend a lot of money for something that's not might not work. Then that goes on top of this. So now that got airflow going through that can. Now take your steel plate or whatever plate you got that has holes. You can have the holes on the side, but I recommend, I don't know if that's going to work with these big ass holes. I don't know. So that goes on top of your fluke, your fluke part. Now, what I did, I just wired the middle fluke to that pan. So you could do the same thing with this. And voila, put that on top. Start your fire first, then put your plate, then your fluke on top, and it should crank up like hell. That's how I created this one, but I just did something with a bigger a bigger can, and it worked. It, it still worked for the big can. I had like three inches. This is it right here, and it's like three or five or six inches, or a foot. Yeah, that's almost a foot. That's a foot, and it still worked. It's not completely centered because I got this here stopping this to be centered, but it still worked. You saw the flame come up, and that should work. And I also think if you have a bigger fluker, the flames would be no flames up there, but smoke. It might not be smoke. It'd be a smokeless uh, stove. But if you take your time and add the second pipe, and within that second pipe have coil of copper that will give you the hot water heater that you're looking for all right this is my update on this device 
This is what I did on a first device and it worked with this plate. You saw that plate it just had a couple holes in it. I don't know what's going to happen with this, these big holes, but I will be happy to do a test, but not right now. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoyed this, um, what I did in the first video. I'm explaining it now. And all this stuff out here is parts and things. I got this from my mechanic. He works in a mechanic shop. This is what you want to get. Some type of piping to go into your, if you're going to make a fuel, where it keeps giving fuel, you want to go find pipe, tubing, got some more tubing and maybe later on i'll do a uh fluka rocket stove with this tire i'm gonna try it out and we'll see what happens keep watching for updates all right i'm ranger cookie i hope you enjoy this sh uh, short video about how to make the fluka rocket stove or whatever all right bye bye all right I tried a new thing. I tried uh, different items. Right now I'm using shortening. So I'm doing different types of burns with different items that you could find as a waste product. Burnt more oil mortal. Use grease that you cooked already and shortening. You can hear it. If you can't hear that sizzling, there's this, a sizzling sound in there like it's boiling grease and it's smoking. It's, I, I'm not gonna say it's a smokeless tube unless I put another tube up, but I don't wanna melt another aluminum piece. So far, it's, it's do, doing pretty good. Let's not drop the camera because that'd be the last of the camera. So I put, use shortening in this thing and we're going to do a test you're here with me to do the test and once i finish my test all right the size of this does not matter that thing's like three inches like the video um you know, the earlier video about this so i'm just using shortening and listen to it and last uh last uh and uh, the fire was down there. It was smoking really bad. But hey, it did the job. I could feel the heat from that thing. I could probably feel more if this tube was around this tube. This tube is supposed to heat up the uh, coils. But I'm doing a lot of tests before I buy these coils and put the coils in and find out it don't work. I got to do my test to make sure it works the way I want. So far, you can hear it. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is test with shortening. As all I do is put a uh, shortening at the bottom, a stuff that kinda put some paper, light it. We'll put the tubular, the, uh, the rocket tubular, flubular rocket thing on top, and voila. And it should give me about 20 minute burn with that shortening. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoy the Flubler Rocket Stove, or whatever you want to call it. Look at my dog. Her name is Sally. <laughs> look at Dirk. That's Dirk. Boy, them two play all the time. They met for one another. They're two puppies. I think he's about a year old. I don't know. She's only... Eight months. You eight months? Look at her. Look at Sally. Sally. Woof. Oh, she's so, she's so cute. Why are you eating my hand? It's not food. Put it down. Put it down. My hand's not food. Put it down. That's good girl. Good girl. Uh-oh, there she goes. Let's watch Sally. Let's go watch Sally. Sally, go get the girl. Come on. Let's go get the girl. Come on. Go get her. Go get her. Go get her. Hey, <laughs> did Pitbull attack. Turn away for me. Attack her. Get her. Get her. 
No! <laughs> Take the wolfie! <laughs> <laughs> Pitbull love. She thinks you're a puppy. That's why she attacks <laughs> you. Pitbull love. <laughs> Hey, put that down. You're not hungry. <laughs> no, don't eat my phone. <laughs> Take it. She's ready no, to chew. Don't eat my earphone. She's ready to clean the wax out of your phone for you. No oh, Sally's so sweet. She is. You look at her like, why? Why are you taping me? Guys, What's, go wait. see Brittany. You want, you want to go get Brittany? Hey, go get Brittany. Go get Brittany. Come on, let's go jump on her. Go get Brittany. Oh, let's get the little one. Get the little one. Oh, she's all excited. That's my dog. <coughs> and I got my evil babies here. We'll be here again next week. Are you leaving today? Oh, yeah. look at the dog. We'll be here again for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Damn, she's ready to tumble over everything just to get the little puppy wolf. It's a little puppy wolf. Woof. It's, it's part of our pack now. <laughs> <coughs> no, she's going to eat its head off. That thing was expensive. The tag teaches you. <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> All right, you turn up that light. All right, bye bye, bye, Sal. Fine, then I'm your owner, not them. All right, let's go check that stove real quick before we leave. It's smoking, but hey, I don't care. It's doing what I wanted to do. I don't care if it smokes. Oh, the flame is pretty good. It's still going down there. I don't see no flame down here. Yesterday I had a flame down there because what I used. But uh, it's doing well. All right, I raised a cookie. I hope you enjoyed me, dog. Me, dog. Bye, bye. <laughs> I wanted to show you this. Um, I used this paper in my in my pot yesterday to light it, and I got chalk paper. This is chalk paper up my container over there. I'm wondering if I can light it. Let's do a little test real quick with this chalk paper. I mean, it's kind of odd. It just charred the hell out of it inside that, that pipe. So we're going to put it down. We're going to get the cigarette lighter. If I can find the cigarette lighter. There's the cigarette lighter. All right. We'll see if we can light this chalk paper. I see a little red on it. Nope. It's not lighting like I thought. So let's, let's break it up. Oh, it's a mess. Look at that. I got all black now. Give me, boy. Okay, let's see if breaking it up will make it char. All right, well, there's our test for char paper. That didn't work. I just want to show you what came out my, my tubular because when I, was, I put the shortener in there, they had that paper in there where I lit it yesterday. And it's uh, going pretty good. You see the flame down there. I don't hear it no more. I guess all the oil is burnt, but that shortening should burn for a while. It should give me about 10 to 20 minutes. And it's still got a flame at the bottom. All right, I just want to show you that char paper. I just took the little bucket of char paper that I had. And... All right, I'll see y'all later. I just want to show you that.